All right, so imagine you have two React components, a parent and a child. This child component takes in a prop from the parent, which is a state variable using the use state hook. Now, I also have this button here that's going to update this state. So I have a question for you. What do you think will happen? Will the child component re-render when I update the state from the parent component? The button is inside the parent component and in the count prop that I'm passing in from this parent, will it trigger a re-render for this child component? To check that, I'll simply add a console log statement here and let's go back to the browser. Now, let me reload this. Yeah, we do see that we get the initial console log message. Now, anytime I try to increment this count variable, we do get the message, which means the component is re-rendering on the prop change. So yeah, that is what we had expected. The reason this happens is because the props changed, but let me tweak this example. And instead of passing down a state variable using the use state hook, we'll create a simple JavaScript variable. I'll name it count again. Let's set it to zero. Let me comment this out and Instead of using this set count incrementer, I'll pass in my own custom logic that's going to increment this count variable by one. Now again, I'll ask you the same question. What do you think will happen? When I increment this count variable, will it trigger a re-render for this style component? Let's go back to the browser. I'll reload this page, create the initial message here. And now if I try to increment, you see that the increment is not even happening here and we do not even get any re-rendering messages from the child component. It's not like the count is not being updated. So if I try to console log the count right after I increment it, and if I now increment this count, you see that we do get the updates here, which means the count is updating. There's nothing wrong with the count variable. So even though when people say that, that a component gets re-rendered when its props change, that's not exactly true. I mean, it is true, but there's a caveat to it. Let's compare the flow of data for both of these examples. So in example one, when the state variable updates, the parent component will be re-rendered. That's how React was designed. Any changes in the state would trigger a component re-render. And when this parent component re-renders, the old state is also updated. And in this case, that is what we were passing to the child component as a prop. So now finally, since the prop changed, the child component will be re-rendered. In the second example, the increment function does update the variable, but React does not track it like it does with the use state variables. So forget about the child component. The parent component itself does not re-render when you update the value. So if I console log a similar message here, let's just say rendering the parent and I go back to the browser. Let me reload this. We get the initial messages here. I'll clear this console. And now if I try to increment, you'll only see the count updates here. You do not see the rendering messages from the parent component, which means the parent component also is not re-rendering. That's because the count variable is not created using the use state hook. These regular variables will not be tracked by React. Since the parent component did not re-render, the child component would automatically also not re-render. So that's the golden rule here when it comes to props. For a child component to re-render due to prop changes, the parent component must re-render and pass the updated props. So yeah, that's it for this video. Do subscribe to the channel for similar content and I'll see you in the next one.